play for the US it's Open title. Iga Swiatek, the young Polish world number one champion, is not just an ordinary player. She is the girl with her magical, invisible backpack that has all the solutions to the game. No matter how difficult the game may be, Iga is never out of techniques to turn the table and lift the trophy at the end. This season, world number one Iga Swiatek has undergone a remarkable transformation. The Polish player is unstoppable, having won her second French Open title and having a record 37-match winning streak. Iga's not coming slow this season. Her performance is getting better and better. The US Open final was enough proof of this. After overcoming an early scare by six-seed Arena Sabalenka in a three-setter, the 21-year-old was advanced to her first US Open final and second Grand Slam final of the season. Sviantek came from behind to defeat Sabalenka 3-6-6-1-6-4 in the semi-finals at Arthur Ashe Stadium. If you look at the whole season and the performance of Iga Sviantek, then you'll know that she is unstoppable, and it feels like she has some magical powers by which she's cracked the code of tennis. She's defeated nearly every other tennis player. In this video, we'll look at how the player is so unstoppable and is getting higher day by day. A bathroom break changed the fate of the game at the US Open final. While playing in the US Open final, Sabalenka challenged Sviantek and put enough pressure on her to win the first set. Sviantek then rushed for a bathroom break, and what followed was an unbelievable turnaround. I tried to use that time to think about what I wanted to change, because when I was younger, all I did in the bathroom between sets when I lost was cry. This time, I can actually think about what I want to change and problem solve. Sviantek stated during an on-court interview. To start the second set, Sviantek broke Sabalenka to love. The top-seeded player went on to secure eight straight points before Sabalenka could threaten to end Sviantek's campaign. However, the number one produced a solid service game before closing the second set in her favor, 6-1. With all the momentum for the deciding set, Sviantek held a serve before producing some brilliant winners. The third set kept on swinging between Sviantek and Sabalenka until world number one Sviantek finally prevailed and lifted the trophy. Iga has cracked the code. Sviantek's seamless transition to world number one following Ashley Barty's surprise retirement in March has been remarkable. Sviantek appears to have cracked the code of tennis, whether in the mental or technical aspects of the game. When she gets into trouble on the court, she finds a solution and triumphs. She excels in the face of enormous pressure. From the outside, it appears that Sviantek currently has the game's cheat codes in her back pocket and is prepared for whatever comes her way. Is that how it feels for her? She said, Yes, I do, and that's great, because I've never felt like that before, and it means a lot in terms of just being confident and not being so scared. Because I was scared a lot before matches, I still am sometimes. But it's much, much better to know I can come up with solutions and really solve problems. It's totally different. Iga is never out of motivation. Sviantek had a strong start to 2022, reaching the Australian Open semi-finals thanks to a more aggressive game that has helped her become a force on hard courts as well as her beloved clay. The key to her success is also the fact that this young world number one is never out of motivation. She became the first player in history to win the first three Women's Tennis Association 1,000-level tournaments of the season when she won Doha, Indian Wells, and Miami back-to-back. -back. In the process, she rose to the top of the world rankings. That may be too much for some, and it would have been understandable if Sviantek had taken some time to adjust to her new position at the top. Instead, she dug deep and continued to win, sweeping her next tournaments in Stuttgart, Rome, and Paris. Was it difficult to stay motivated during that dominant stretch? I only played one smaller tournament in Stuttgart, and you know what the prize was there, so I guess it wasn't that difficult to get motivated, she added, referring to the Porsche she won by winning the title in the German city. I'm that kind of person that I always want to win honestly, and I'm not going to let go, and I'm not going to say, oh, I'm tired, so let's accept that maybe I'm going to lose, because I always want to win, and I'm going to do everything to win. So it just happened. Well, I guess it is great to see such dedication in a young player. Iga has worked on herself. Sviantek, who won her first Grand Slam at the age of 19, did not spend her adolescence believing she could achieve everything she has in the last few years. 
After defeating 18-year-old Galf in Paris in the second to last week of October 2022, she highlighted how different her journey has been compared to the young American and noted how evolved Galf's career was compared to her own when she was her age. Sviantec said of the French Open finalist, who's currently ranked number 13 in the world, I feel like she's doing everything faster than most of the players, and I'm pretty sure she's going to get here someday and win a Grand Slam, because I feel she was raised to do that. I'm hoping she'll keep it up. Was Sviantec raised to do the same? She says, I don't think so. That's a hard one. I don't think so because my journey from the beginning is what my dad thought was the best, and he made really good and really bad choices sometimes. But it wasn't like I had 10 people around me telling us how to deal with everything and what to do. We had to choose our own path, and for sure, we got really lucky that he made some good decisions, and I had some good coaches at the beginning because honestly, we didn't have any system that could help us, she added. Iga wanted to earn money. Iga Sviantek never expected herself to reach the top of her tennis career, and that was not even her goal. In fact, at the age of 18, she was just trying to earn money by playing the sport and start a professional life. She has stated, For sure, I wanted to win some more money. I was pretty disappointed because I always felt I could do better. I was raised to actually be professional and to always have this kind of need to get better, which is sometimes not helpful because when you're a perfectionist, it can push you down. But basically, it was pretty hard for me to think that I was going to be world number one because just thinking logically, when you take my country, how many people have succeeded in tennis? It was only Adnieska, basically. So the probability of me actually becoming a tennis superstar was pretty small. Iga liked studying maths. Iga talked about her interest in maths. She said, I like maths and my brain usually thinks about probability. So I felt that maybe it was not a sure thing and it would be hard to make it happen. I always had a plan B, even when I was 18. I still went to high school and I was really focused on that. I felt like I was working two jobs at a time, and even in 2020, I still felt like I needed a plan B if tennis was not going to work out. I've never felt like I was raised to do that, and the rest is history. Iga Sviantec ended the 2020 season as a Grand Slam champion. Iga's thoughts on mastering grass. She admits she's yet to reach her full potential on the court. She's only competed in the All England Club women's event twice losing in the first round in 2019 and reaching the fourth round last year. Her coach, Tomasz Witorowski, had great success with his former player, Adnieszka Radwanska, at Wimbledon. He guided her to the final in 2012, as well as the semi-finals in 2013 and 2015, and Sviantek believes he can help her figure out the grass in time. My only thought ahead of Wimbledon is that I want to get ready and learn how to play on grass better, and that's all I'm going to focus on. For sure, Wimbledon is special, but for me, the most important thing is to bring a good performance, and I still haven't reached the comfortable feeling on grass, so that's going to be my only goal. I don't want to think about other stuff because this comes first, and with good results and good performances, things are going to come, she added. So, this was all from the video. I hope you all liked it. Tell us in the comments your future expectations for the tennis star, and how you think she'll perform in upcoming seasons. Will her magical ways win the games back-to-back?